If you look at the workbench, for most people who regularly use electronics, you'll often find an impressive suite of tools and test equipment. This can be things like oscilloscope, logic analyzers, function generators, and if you're really lucky, spectrum analyzers. That's where the Digilent Analog Discovery 2 comes in. USB oscilloscopes are nothing new, but the Analog Discovery 2 rolls up many of the rather large electronics test instruments into one neat little package. You'll notice that the device has a 30-pin, 0.1-inch header for its primary interface. The kit comes with a wiring harness, but you can also use other jumper wires. To start, it has a two-channel digital oscilloscope with 9 MHz bandwidth using the wire kit. This can go up to 30 MHz with the B and C adapter and real scope probes. It's capable of 100 mega samples per second and 14-bit resolution. There's also a two-channel arbitrary waveform generator. This can make things like sine waves, square waves, triangle waves, noise, and so on. It can handle plus or minus 5 volts with 14-bit resolution, and it can also do 9 MHz bandwidth with the wire kit, and this can go up to 12 MHz with the BNC adapter. If you need DC, there are two power supplies available. There is a positive supply that ranges between 0.5 volts to 5 volts, and a negative supply that can do minus 0.5 to minus 5 volts. These can push up to 700 milliamps of current. We recommend using auxiliary wall power if you're going to be using over 500 milliwatts up to 2.1 watts. Finally, the little discovery box has a 16-channel digital input-output port. The input is 1.8 volt and 3.3 volt logic, although it is 5 volt logic tolerant. It can handle up to 100 mega samples per second and a buffer size of up to 16 kilosamples. The software can decode a number of protocols including SPI, I2C, UART, CAN, and I2S. The output is 3.3 volt logic and it can drive 4 milliamps per pin. You can also connect virtual devices like buttons, switches, and LEDs in the software. There's a lot of features packed into this little box, but the real benefit of the Analog Discovery 2 lies in its easy-to-use software. It only took me about 10 minutes to unbox the device, install the software, and start taking measurements. To show how it works, I've made a simple circuit with this Arduino. As I turn the knob on the trim pot, the pulse width modulation duty cycle changes, making the LED brighter and dimmer. We can watch the PWM change in real time using the Analog Discovery 2. I'll open up Waveforms 2015, which is the associated software, and create a new scope display. Here, we've set it up so you can actually watch how the duty cycle changes. Another cool feature is the ability to look at the fast Fourier transform of an input signal. This allows us to use the board as a spectrum analyzer. Here, I've connected the channel one scope input to the headphone jack on my phone. In the software, we can create a new spectrum display. We can see activity in the first few kilohertz, which shows what frequencies are being played in the song. To test the logic analyzer, I've connected a BMP180 barometric pressure sensor to an Arduino. Every half second, the Arduino queries the sensor, so we should see some I2C data on the lines. I've attached digital channels 0 and 1 to clock and data. We'll create a new logic display in the software and add an I2C channel. We can set the trigger on byte 1 for being hex F6. We get this from the data sheet, so we know that this is the first data register. Once we do a single run, we can see the address of the BMP180 followed by a request to read data from the F6 register. After that, the Arduino is reading the most significant and least significant bytes from the sensor. If we zoom in, we can see the act, start, and stop bits in the protocol. That's only a few demos of the measurement capabilities of the Analog Discovery 2. While it can't capture higher frequencies, it's good enough for most hobbyists, students, and budding engineers. Even though I've got a full-size scope at my desk, the versatility of the Analog Discovery 2 means I can capture digital and analog signals with ease, as well as generate waveforms needed to test my projects. 